first, I was happy. It's right in my brain that seeing your name on my phone makes me smile. It triggers a sense of excitement within me. It takes me back to the years when your name was all I had to see to feel that everything will be okay. Nothing really mattered as long as I was talking to you. I remember that it's been over a year. It's been over a year of silence and unspoken words and bent of feelings. It's been over a year and you didn't even care to ask how I was doing. It's been over a year and your name stopped appearing on my phone even on my birthday. It's been over a year and all I heard from you was silence. All I felt was your absence. I opened the message and started reading your words. Hey, I hope you're well. You just crossed my mind and I just wanted to make sure you're okay and hopefully we can catch up soon. And I could read your selfishness, your sense of entitlement. your ridiculous pride and your inability to apologize or even admit that maybe you weren't the man you should have been that maybe it was a mistake that you took my love for granted that maybe you want to start to work but you are too proud to say it out loud because we are not friends to catch up we never ended things on a good note to check in with each other whenever we feel like it we never really talked about why things fell apart and why we never tried to patch things up again we just drifted apart we let the silence take over our words we let indifference replace the actions we should have taken and we let our love go to waste because we never tried to revive it If I'm being honest, we both didn't do our part. We both failed at keeping the spark alive, but the only difference is I never lied to you about what I wanted or how I felt. On the other hand, you always promised things you didn't do and said things you didn't mean. disappear when i needed answers seeing your message reminded me of the lost message i sent you that you ignored the message that i needed you to respond to so i can move on the message that proved to me that you are a cover so when i read your message again I realize that I don't want to catch up with you and I don't want you to check up on me anymore. I'm fine. You don't get to pick and choose when you want to talk to me. I don't want to even be your friend because I don't choose friends who are okay with going over a year without talking to me. I don't choose friends who make communication so damn poor. So thank you for your message. I appreciate it, but I'm not responding to it this time. And it's not because you didn't respond to mine. It's because I now truly believe that I don't want you in my life. Not even as a friend. You will always remain in the past. You will always be a distant memory. You will always be the experience that taught me that I shouldn't just give my heart to anyone. That my heart doesn't deserve to be neglected or ignored. Thank you.
you for your message. It's been over a year, but it has been the best year of my life.